first of all, here's a right triangle. Um, let's understand real quickly how these uh, angle measures relate to each other. You're already familiar with this. Say if this was 60 degrees. All right, guess what this angle down here would be? That's right, 30 degrees. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. But in general, what if this was something random? Okay, um, what if this was 50 degrees? How would I find this angle over here? Now, somebody in the group is thinking, well, let's start with 180, and uh, then we can add up the 50 and the 90 and subtract from 180. Uh, or the way I always think of it is sub starting with 180 and subtracting 50 and subtracting 90 and seeing what's left. Well, let's do that. Um, so 180, let's clear this out. 180 minus 50 minus 90. All right, subtracting from 180. That leaves 40. Okay, now let's think about that. Is there a way that I can get this 40 uh, without going all the way back to 180 degrees? Well, yeah, there is. Um, this is already 90 degrees. If I start from 180 and I take away 90, how much does that leave? That leaves 90. So every time I have a right angle, the other two angles have to add up to 90. Guess what? 50 plus 40, that makes 90. All right, so the two acute angles in a right triangle will always add up to 90. So it's a little simpler than having to subtract everything from 180. All I really have to do is subtract from 90. I mean, look back at our 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, this was 60. Uh, we know this is 30. But it's because 60 plus 30 makes 90. Um, so what if, uh, for example, this was, I'm trying to make this as random as possible. Um, what if this was 56? If I want to get the missing angle, I really do not need to go all the way back to 180. What I need to do is uh, I'll just go 90 minus 56 and that's going to give me the answer okay uh, you can do this in your head but just in case I have any doubters that's going to be 34 okay see I do not have to go all the way back to 180 I can just quickly subtract from 90 um, but if it's a nice round number you probably won't need to do that so say if I told you that this angle was 20 degrees when you look at this angle, you should be thinking, hmm, what would it take to add up to 90? All right, I'm hoping that you're thinking 70, because 7 plus 2 is 9, 70 plus 20 is 90. So you know that's going to be 70. Okay, you get it. These two angles always have to add up to 90. If I want to find this angle, I can just subtract the first angle from 90, and that's going to give it to me every single time. Okay, in fact, in general, just to take it to the final step, in geometry, we always, uh, we often, when we have an unknown angle, we call it theta. That's the Greek letter theta. If this angle was theta, some unknown variable angle, if I wanted to find the angle that goes here, I would do 90 minus theta. Okay, sort of like a formula.